Catherine here with Catherine's Play. I am so happy to have everybody here today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you and I hope that you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, today I am doing a collaboration with Corey and his channel, Cooking with Corey. Now I'll link his channel down below. Now the collaboration is hashtag crockpot casserole. Alright, so I've got a casserole for you today and it's a taco casserole. Alright y'all, if you want to go see everybody else's, what everybody else is doing, make sure you hashtag crockpot casserole at the end of my video. I'll be there also checking out new crockpot recipes that I want to make. Alright y'all, we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to brown up some ground beef. Alright, so I'm browning up my ground beef. I have about one and a half pounds of ground beef in my pan here. Now this is the only thing I'm going to be cooking. Alright, when I make taco meat, I usually cook an onion in with it, alright, for some added flavor. But I have a secret ingredient that I'm going to be putting in my crock pot that will replace me putting the onion into my meat. So stay tuned for that. Also, my ground beef is all browned up. I used my handy dandy meat chopper. Look how good that did, right? Y'all go check it down below in my description box for my meat chopper here. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead now and turn this off. I'm going to drain the fat out of it. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my crock pot. All right, y'all, so I did not put onions in my ground beef when I cooked it, but I'm going to be adding this cream of onion soup, all right? This is going to kind of help bind it all together and make it a casserole feel, all right? So we're going to go ahead and add that to our meat here. I'm using my little spurtle here to get it all out of the can. All right, I'm going to be using a quarter cup of water to put into my soup can here to get all those little onion bits out of there. I'm going to mix that up a little bit and add that. Alright y'all, Flavor Town. I got two cans of Rotel tomatoes with green chilies in them. They're going into my crock pot right now. Alright, the last thing to go in here now is taco seasoning. Now I make my own homemade taco seasoning and Kind of looks like I'm running out, so I'm gonna have to make another load of this. All right, y'all, I do have a video on homemade taco seasoning. If you'd like to see it, I have it linked down below in my description box. Now, you can use a little packet of taco seasoning if you would like for this, okay? Three tablespoons of my homemade taco seasoning is about the same size as one of those packets, okay? So either one of those will work. So we're gonna put three tablespoons of my homemade taco seasoning into my crock pot here. All right, just using the spurtle that I used to get all that onion soup out of the can, I'm going to go ahead and just stir this all together. Oh, it smells so good in there, y'all. Mm. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put the lid on it. It's ready to go. Now I'm going to cook this between four to six hours on high or six to eight hours on low. I wouldn't go any longer than that because the meat was cooked and all we are trying to do is meld these flavors together. All right? While this is cooking, you can make your tortilla strips. Okay. And I'm going to show you what is going to happen with these later. But right now, what you're going to do is we're going to prepare these. All right, y'all, so while my crock pot is going, I'm going to go ahead and start making these. That way they're done, and then I can have them for when I need them after the crock pot is done. All right, so I've got eight corn tortillas here. Now, you can use flour tortillas if you like, all right, because we're going to be crisping these up in the oven. So what I'm going to do is put them all together, take my knife here, and I'm just going to cut them in strips. I'm 
All right. Now what we're gonna do is I have a pan here and I've got some parchment paper on it. And I'm gonna lay these on top of it and spread them out. Kind of give them some room. We're gonna be flipping these around, you know, once or twice while they're in the oven. All right, and you got them all spread out like that. That's good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit of olive oil and just kind of sprinkle it on there a little bit. And then I'm just going to salt them a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna put these in my oven that's been preheating at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. And once or twice during that, I'm going to just go in and just move these around so they crisp on the bottom also. All right, y'all. This is smelling amazing. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go ahead and now lift the lid up. Oh. Oh my gosh, it smells like a Mexican restaurant in here. It doesn't take much. All right, I'm gonna put my lid down and then we're gonna dig in. All right, oh my goodness. All right, y'all, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna, this is my taco casserole in the crock pot, right? All right, y'all, I'm gonna get my bowl now so that I can put my taco casserole on top of it. All right, here's my bowl. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't use the cheese bowl. <laughs> Might've been a good idea. All right, I've got my regular bowl here. I'm gonna ladle this in. Mm. All right. Mm. Doesn't that look good, y'all? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and build this up for you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cheese it up. All right, now remember we made our corn tortilla strips in the oven. I'm gonna add some of those. Mmm, doesn't that look good, y'all? All right, I'm gonna put some sour cream on. Oh. And green onions for that nice color and extra layer of flavor. There we go, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna go in and try this for you. Smells like a taco, I don't know, you know? Mm. All right, y'all, there's my bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, it tastes like a taco. <laughs> It's so good. Mmm. Those Rotel tomatoes in there give it a little heat with those green chilies. Mmm. That homemade taco seasoning, you can't beat it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. All right, y'all, my taco casserole in a crock pot. This was a collaboration with Corey's channel, Cooking with Corey. Go check it out. Hashtag Crock-Pot Casserole, all right? And go check out everyone else who participated in this collaboration. I know I'm gonna go there and check all the other dishes out too so I can get some good ideas on Crock-Pot Casseroles. All right, y'all, thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. Make sure y'all comment down below and give me a thumbs up. All right, y'all, I will see you on the next episode.